what happens if technical issues occur? What happens if people don't abide by those rules? My name's Ak Badatu. Um, I am a computer scientist um, by, by background. That's taken me on a journey through digitization of financial contracts, through to digital assets, advising a number of institutions, regulators in those sorts of areas, and also sit on the Law Society's Technology and Law Committee, where I head up the subcommittee on digital assets and smart contracts. The NAR very much make the association a standout in terms of its approach meaning that we have something that is stable, certain, and can deal with any behaviours that are outside of the spirit of the activities on a network. The network access rules are a way in which to provide certainty around the rules of operating, building on the white paper, and really being able to make sure people can ensure that others also play by the rules. And if they don't, they know exactly how they can make sure they are not disadvantaged from that. We've assisted at D2LT with the design and formulation of the network access rules. When you think about the network, you're thinking of you know, something that is able to finally provide a enterprise robust network. You know, building on some very good philosophical ideas, but really meaning that you can take it to something that is robust enough and scalable enough to operate where it needs to for investors and commercial applications. And that's really why we got involved with the NAR. The rules of any game are probably the most important thing. Decentralization with the right stewardship to guide it through. And one of the strong advantages is it reinforces in the context of decentralization, the multilateral nexus between the nodes and people um, involved. So um, it, it actually reinforces the very heart of these networks.